Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. The topic today is custom windows and doors uh, looking a little bit like this. Let's get started. As I've said before, thank you so much for your uh, communication. I, I love seeing subscribers. I love seeing comments, um, ideas, questions, etc. Uh, thanks so much. Would you consider supporting the production of these videos and this information, this education over on patreon.com slash design build solutions? For the price of a cup of coffee each month, um, that would encourage me to keep going and providing this information and education for you. Thanks for your consideration. Let's get started into the topic today. As I mentioned, I've got some kind of somewhat unique doors that we now can do in Chief X11, and I want to go through these custom windows here. I have some field measurements given by the contractor. Uh, the overall width is 137 and a half inches. And I've started on the doors thus far. I want to just show how I dropped in a uh, sliding door at set at the 137 and a half and 92 inches tall. In options, let me back up. I'm going to delete this and just show you the process. Drop in a sliding door. By default, this slider is 70, 60 inches wide, so we're going to uh, change it to 137 and a half and 92 tall. By default, we have two panels in this um, door unit, but we actually, according to the pictures, have four panels, two fixed on the wings and two sliding from the middle. We can change that quickly by adding two panels on the left and two on the right. Now you can see that the two in the middle are sliding toward the, you know, toward the wings, but I do need to flip this so that it matches because these uh, these sliding panels are on the exterior here. So now the sliding panels are on the exterior. Then I'm going to measure the um, I did a, I, well let me put it this way I did a quick calculation for the uh, windows. If I have a two inch um, mole here that's two four six inches that's not window. I took the 137 and a half uh, minus six inches 131 and a half divided by four panes and came up with 32 and 7 eighths, I believe it was. So I'm just going to go 32 and 3 quarters um, for, for each of these window panes. Now I cannot drop a window in here because I have a door there right now that uh, goes up to the ceiling. So I'm going to go to options in my window defaults. I did this by double clicking on the windows, options, and I'm going to do vertical stacking level one. And now I can drop a window in here. Uh, I'm going to do fixed glass is fine. I'm going to do, remember the 32 and uh, three quarters. I'll just roughly eyeball it for now. Well, actually, I'm not going to roughly eyeball it. I'm going to do this. Sticky, copy and paste, sticky mode, paste, paste. Okay, why is it not letting me paste? Yeah, okay, well, I have quite a few windows there. There we go. Now I've got my four. Now I'm going to dimension to these two. And this is what I want the, to be the one thirty-seven point five. I have the one thirty-seven point five between the 
two outer ones. Now I'm going to select all of the windows, so I go into my window mode and shift drag. I'm going to use this tool right down here, align distribute objects, and we're going to move the objects not vertically but horizontally to space evenly. Now we still have those four windows currently selected as you can see in the lower left hand corner of my screen, four objects currently selected. I'm going to just Command G. I'm on a Mac, so it's Command G. If you're on a PC, use Control G. And that's the center about an object. So I'm going to center about that room. Let's take a quick look of the exterior dollhouse, and there's what she looks like for now. Now, in my um, field measurements, they drew a uh, elevation of this window here and I know the center is at the peak 46 inches and there's 10 inches in between uh, the window and the door so 92 inches plus 10 is 102 for the sill height. Again I'm going to click on windows and shift drag through here to select all four windows. Command E to open and put the 102 for sill height. Now, according to the pictures, there is no casing on the exterior. Let's go to the pictures again. We've got two sloping to the left and two sloping to the right. Now that I have this, what I might just do, yeah, we'll call it good, right? I know this one is, what did the measurements show? 151 and 3 quarters. I know it's 46 tall. So let's go 46. And the floor to bottom needs to remain at the 102. And now I'm going to go into shape. I cannot match roof because I, I haven't applied a roof yet. Um, so let's go back to this. And I might just have to take an elevation and draw this sucker here. So if I know that's 137 and a half, half of that is uh, 137. 0.5 divided by 2, 68 and 3 quarters. So as I'm drawing the polygon, I hit the tab key and go 68 and 3 quarters and 46 in the y direction. I do want to show the existing CAD layer, that's fine. And I'm going to point to point move. I've set up my toolbar hotkeys keyboard hotkeys uh, as X being the point-to-point -point move and I'm going to do like that. So the 46 tall is really not quite this window height because the, the f right in the middle of the 137 and a half is the mole. So if that's 46, then I need to bring this actually down just a scotch. We'll bring it down three quarters of an inch, that's fine. And then right here, I'm going to draw a, um, I'm going to do this tape measure tool under the dimensions tool. And I'm going to tape measure. Now I don't want to grab this, see how this triangle is appearing right here. That's the middle of the polyline. I don't want that. And when I pull away, there's a circle around it. So I'm going to hit the one key to, that's that's a temporary, um, what do they call that? Uh, temporary point marker, so to speak. Um, so I'm going to hit the S key on my keyboard so that I don't, uh, S is supposed to, wait a second, S is supposed to, uh, Eliminate that. Well, we just got to be very careful here. So 
So from the edge of this, I'm going to tape down 23 and 3 eighths. Let's say, let's do that. So shape, I double clicked on the window. Exterior on the right, 45 and a quarter is fine. On the left, I want 23 and 3 eighths. That is the shape we want right there. Now, same thing on this side. I'm going to go from this bottom edge up to the line, construction line. That's 22 and 11 sixteenths. Uh, shape again, 22, and we'll call it 5 eighths. And then on the left, we want zero. So when, because we had originally, what, 11 and 12 inches, uh, when I adjusted the right at 22 and 5 eighths, that made the, the window height 22 and 5 eighths. Chief knows that. That's taller than it should be. Did I remember the number incorrectly? Oh, 21. Twenty-one three quarters. Let's try that. There we go. That'll be fine. Now I could take these numbers over here and do the same thing. Just reversed. And this one was 45 and a quarter, 23 and 3 eighths. Um, I could do it that way, or you could just take this, take these two, d delete the two on the right, and, and copy the two on the left about the center. Now, I need to, yes, I need to work on the, um, on the ceiling and the roof, etc., but that is our doors and windows. Uh, tutorial for today. I hope this has been helpful for you today. Uh, let's see, today is the second, so happy 4th of July to those of you in the U.S. coming up in a couple days. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Check out my um, website, Design Build Solutions LLC, patreon.com slash design build solutions for supporting these videos. Hit the like down there, subscribe, take care, have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.